Here we are working on a review for investigations one and two of accentuate the negatives. Um, we have integers, whole numbers and their opposites. Rational numbers are fractions that are written using integers. Uh, and so whole numbers and their opposites, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, those are integers. Uh, absolute value. A number's distance from zero, it's always positive. How far down the number line did you go? It doesn't matter if you go to the left or the right. The absolute value is just a distance from zero. Uh, so it's always positive. A negative number is less than zero. A positive number is greater than zero. Opposite numbers, two numbers whose sum is zero. A number sentence is a mathematical statement. And commutative property. Remember, commute means move. So moving or switching numbers around in an addition problem. Not works for other problems, but we're not there yet. But in an addition problem gives you the same answer. So commutative property. You can move those numbers around and get the same answer. Does not work in subtraction. Now, solve these problems. All right. And so we have our first rule for adding integers. If the signs are different. We're actually subtracting. So 13 minus 9 is 4. Keep the sign of the larger absolute value. Negative, one, or 13, negative 13 is further from 0 than 9. So my answer is negative 4. Okay. Number 10. Our rule for subtraction. Change to addition. So I have negative 78 minus negative 18. Add the opposite. Add, change to addition, and whatever follows, you change its sign. If it's positive, you make it negative. Or in this case, it's negative, I make it positive. So I have negative 78 plus 18. Now I go back to my first rule for adding integers, which is signs are different. Subtract, keep the sign of the larger absolute value. Larger absolute value, my answer is going to be negative. And I have 78 minus 18, 0, 6, 60. Okay? Um, and the third, or the, the second rule for adding integers is if the signs are the same, let's take a look at problem number 13 here. When I change to addition, I have negative 8 minus 40. When I change to addition, negative 8 plus negative 40. If the signs are the same, add the numbers, 48, keep the sign, negative. Okay? Showing your work. Please. Okay, this next section. Uh, use number lines or chipboards to show your result. So I have negative 8 plus negative 3. So on a chipboard, if I say, you know, this is plus 1 and this is negative 1, on a chipboard I have negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm going to add in three more. They're being added. So I have 8, 9, 10, 11. So my answer is negative 11. So showing that using chips or number line. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay. Next one, I have negative 5 plus 12. Negative 5 minus negative 12. Sorry, I said plus. I would change to addition. Plus positive 12. Now let's go on this one. Let's use uh, a number line. So let's say 0, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10. So using a number line, I start with negative 5 right here. And I'm going up 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going up to here. Plus 12. Or some students use, you know, hopping from number to number. But I end at 7. Positive 7. There's my answer. Okay? So working on those. Uh, this problem. Brian is completing a science experiment on evaporation. Uh, he has a metal bucket with water and measures the height of the water each day. He starts with 20 inches of water. That's kind of important, 20 inches of water. 
and a high temperature hits 100 degrees Fahrenheit and there's no rain, the water level drops by two inches a day. So after five days, what's the water level? You know, it drops two inches each day, five days. Should be easy enough to figure out. The reason I read through that problem is because I really want to concentrate on the next one. 19 is a little bit more difficult. <coughs> Ryan conducts his experiment and finds when it rains, the water goes up by one inch. So over five days, there's three sunny days, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, two rainy days. What's the water level? Well, I know I started with 20, right? And my three sunny days, each day I'm going to take away two. And my two rainy days, I'm going to add one, right? Now, I could put this all together for addition. You may not do this, but I'm going to do this so I can move numbers anywhere I want. So I can take these two back here and I can add them up here. So it's going to give me 22. Plus, I'm going to put all these negatives together, negative 6. 22 plus negative 6 is 16. All right? So then I have to actually answer the question. The water level is 16 inches. Okay? All right, looking at the back here. All right, so I want to find the letter. You know, what value is the letter? The problem is, is it's not at the end here. It's not just the answer to the problem. It's in the problem, which can make these very difficult. Now, there's a couple, like down here, number 23, this should, or number 24, these should be just a piece of cake. N minus negative 54 equals 54. Change to addition. N plus positive 54. What number do I add to 54 and get to 54? It's got to be 0. Oops. N equals 0. But this other method will work for everything. So here, I'm going to rewrite the problem over here. I have 10 plus N equals negative 15. If I look what's happening to N, and do the opposite to both sides. That gets the n all by itself. And tell me what n equals. So n is being added by 10. So I take away 10. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Otherwise, it's not equal. Got to do the both to both. Same thing to both sides. Now, 10 minus 10 plus n, or 10 plus negative 10 plus n. These two just cancel out. Give me zero because they're opposites. And I have n equals negative 15 plus negative 10 is negative 25. And then I check it. 10 plus negative 25. Mm -hmm. My answer is going to be negative, and I really subtract. 25 minus 10 is 15. And it checks. That is the right answer. Okay? So working through those, some of these you're going to go, oh, that was easy. And some you may think are really hard if you try to do them in your head. So think about that math method. Find out what's happening with n, and then add the opposite. Change it to addition. Another reason why Ms. Rydell hates subtraction. Change to addition and just add the opposite to get rid of that number, and you're good to go. All right, good luck. Uh, test will probably be Wednesday, so study hard.